All right, so this is our second lab, and how this one works is it's literally just a bunch of buttons that turn on four different lights, okay? They are incorrect, like one button is does turn on a specific light, so please pay attention to that. I did write it down in your assignment, but if we wanna quickly go through it, when we press the blue button, the yellow light comes on. When we press, I believe, one of the green buttons, the green light comes on. And when we hit our limit switches over here, the red light comes on for one of them and the green light comes on for the other one, okay? So that's how the, the lab should work when you're done. What I wanna do now is I wanna talk a little bit more about programming with RS Logix. All right, so now I'm here at RS Logix and I've already connected to my PLC because I am gonna try to download something so that I can show you guys some stuff. The first thing that I wanna do, and I don't think I properly explained this, is I want to append a rung. And if you right click, you can see append a rung and that's just gonna add a rung. So I don't know if you guys seen that before. If I think I just did it in the last video, so I wanted to show you that really quick. Um, the next thing, I just wanna set up a a uh, typical button to a light just like we've been doing and I'm going to pretty much code it to the exact same code as we've been using all right uh, sorry I colon zero slash zero so this one will be our button this is really a this right here is really just a repeat of <laughs> our last whole lab right <laughs> so and this one will be o colon zero slash zero boom all right, and we'll do light, okay? All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna quickly download this one. We're just gonna do some cones. Hopefully it'll come up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download. All right, we'll just save it as untitled. It already exists. Awesome. Okay, so now we're up and we're back online, okay? So what I'd like to do is I want to show you guys these two data files here. Let's see if we can open them up. Okay, so we got our data file file uh, data file for our output and our data file for our input. Now, previously I talked to you guys a little bit about the the bits, okay? Well, these are actually our internal bits right here for all of our inputs and here are our inputs or here are our bits for all of our outputs. Now, I am running right now, so that means when I press the button, I, this uh, instruction will become true. I want you to notice that the bit right here is also coded to the same instruction. So this instruction right here is this bit. If, and if you look at it, if I, actually have, if I click on it, you'll notice that I've actually got the description down here for button. While over here, if I actually click on the zero slash zero, it's got the description as light. So you can actually go into here and code it through the table if you'd like to, to address those and description stuff. Um, I probably wouldn't, it just seems like it's a weird way to do it. But if we go over here and we click, we're on top of it. I go ahead and hit zero slash zero. I go turn on the button. Notice it becomes true up here, but also this becomes a one. Okay, we're gonna be doing some, some test questions on that and that's something I really want you to get is it's, it, we press the button, the terminal gets 24 volts, it's gonna change that internal bit from, from a one to a zero and then the instruction is gonna be based off of that one or a zero, all right? Now I want you to also notice I've got a one here now. So this light is now true, so I've also got a one here. If I turn it off, that becomes a zero. If I turn it back on, it becomes a one. All right, we're gonna be talking a lot about bits, and, we're, and these are just an internal bit. Literally, it's just a bank of numbers that are connected to those um, input terminals or those output terminals, and it's just kind of letting us know what's happening, all right? So these are these are really important though. So I, it's something I really want you to, to understand. And it'll be, if you want, when you're done building this program uh, or the, the program for this activity, if you want to open up these files and take a look at them, that's another thing that would be kind of cool. I think it would maybe, maybe even helpful to you guys. So I'm gonna close these. <sighs> now, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about the actual program itself. So I'm gonna go back offline Let's go offline here. 
and we're gonna we're gonna continue working on this one. Now, for your guys' lab, we are gonna have four different buttons, and we're gonna have four different outputs. Now, I chose you guys how to append a rung. There's gonna be multiple rungs in this uh, in this lab. All right. Oops, what the heck did I just do? Must have done something totally wrong. Yeah. Hmm, that was weird. So we could just come down here and I can grab another instruction and I can grab another output and this one might be the green light up here and this one might be the red light So and this one might be the, uh, the limit switch that's hooked to a different input. So when I'm doing the different inputs, remember it's going to be I colon zero slash something. So if I was going to code it to a different button, so I think I have, let me check here, I got I think the green button is on terminal 3, so I'm going to put a 3 in here, I'm going to hit enter, and this is going to be green button, alright, oops, let me go back, green button, not known for my typing skills, and then I can even go in here and we can do green light, I don't, I don't exactly remember if this is true to the, the program, I think it turns on a green light, but I could be wrong, so, and I want to say my green light was on a different, oops, what am I doing, zero colon zero slash two, I want to say it was on two, but I'm not totally sure, and I'm, le I'm leaving it up to you guys, let me put a code in there, or a description, green light, I'm leaving it up to you guys on how you want to, you know, which addresses you want to use. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to have multiple rungs and you're just going to have a bunch of different lights on them. Really want you guys to do this one just so you get a little bit more practice, get a little bit more comfortable with the program, and you're going to get used to wiring a bunch of inputs and outputs. The second thing I want to talk about is where the instructions are going to go on this, on this, these rungs. So if I was to append a rung here, and add it in, and the first thing I put was an, an instruction or an output, it magically pulls it over here to the right, okay? But I could take a instruction now that we've already got it laid out, oops, let me get back over here, and I could force that OTE over to the left. This is not something you wanna do, it will never work. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. We always wanna make sure that the, let me go ahead and delete this guy. All the stuff on the left is gonna be your instructions, your XIOs, XICs, things like that. All of your outputs are going to be over here on the right side. I'm sorry, let me say that again. All the inputs on the left, all the outputs are on the right, all right? Think of it more like the left is the decision side, so they're making a decision over here whether or not to turn on the stuff here on the right, okay? So something to think about as you're moving through. There's going to be some test questions on those bits. Um, otherwise, uh, good luck. I think this lab should be pretty easy for you guys, but it's going to give you a lot of practice wiring up inputs and outputs and then just kind of putting some addressing in like low pressure, okay? And it's going to also help you guys get ready for the test. So go ahead and uh, put this lab together and uh, good luck.